Hello and welcome to another video, this time on question 5, normal distribution from the Stats 2020 paper. Now this question is hard, uh, particularly the bit at the end, which I think is very, very tricky. Uh, very, very tricky. Um, but yeah, still though, like on any normal distribution question, there's lots of marks there which aren't too bad, which are easier to get. So let's have a look. Health Centre claims that a doctor spends time with uh, that, that, that the time a doctor spends with a patient can be modelled by a normal distribution. X is squiggle, normal distribution with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 4. Good, they're giving both of those things. Using this model, find the probability that the time spent with a randomly sector patient is more than 15 minutes. So we're going to look for the probability that X is greater than 15. So we're going to turn to our calculator and we're going to go to normal CD and we're going to go lower is 15. We're going to go upper is like 15,000 <laughs> or some big number. Uh, sigma can be 4 and mu can be 10. Okay, and we find it's 0.1056 or 0.106 to three significant figures. Yeah, easy one marker. Okay, and I like when they start that with a normal distribution. Just basically have you learned to use your calculators? Fair. Some patients complain that the mean time the doctor spends with a patient is more than 10 minutes. Yeah, I bet. Um, the receptionist takes a random sample of 20 patients and finds the mean uh, time the doctor spends with patients is 11.5 minutes. Let's do a hypothesis test to see whether or not there's evidence to support the patient's complaint that it's more than 10 minutes. So this is a nice hypothesis test in the sense that it's one-tailed. Uh, the mean is going to be 10. That's the null. The alternative is that the mean is greater than 10. We're then going to be looking at x. Well, x squiggle n is 10 four squared, but that means for the sample, it's going to be x bar is the normal distribution 10, but this is going to be 4 squared divided by the sample size of 20, yeah? Which means we're going to have sigma equals 4 over root 20, and that's what we're going to need for our calculator, because this is variance, that's standard deviation. Now, we're going to look for the probability that you get x bar greater than, that should always go the same way around as that one, 11.5. And we can just do that on our calculator. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go for lower, 11.5, upper, million or whatever. Sigma is 4 divided by the square root of 20. Um, and mu is 10. And I'm genuinely doing all of this again. Um, and we get 0 0.0467. I swear we just got that in last year's paper. Don't tell me they were so boring that they put exactly the same. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Um, OK, that is less than 5%. We're using a 5% significance level. And so we're going to accept the alternative because that's a measure of how likely the null is to be true. And it's looking pretty unlikely. It's less than the significance level, so it looks untrue. Hence, reject H0. Sufficient evidence to suggest that the mean waiting time has increased. And I hope you can see from this question that this can be a nice topic, hypothesis testing with an all distribution, if it's a simple little one, one tailed, 5% sig, sig level. All you've got to do is remember to divide the standard deviation by the square root of the sample size. It can be a nice question and make sure you conclude in the right direction. And that's all there is to it. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Okay, right, part C. This is where it starts getting harder. Um, and it's because conditional probability with a normal distribution is difficult. Now, the health centre also claims that the time a dentist spends with a patient during a routine appointment at T minutes can be modelled by this normal distribution. So we're dealing with a dentist now, not a doctor. OK, apologies for the screaming in the background. That's just my children. Uh, find the probability that a routine appointment with a dentist takes less than two minutes. So this is, once again, just can you use this? So less than two. OK, under those conditions, um, what do we have? I'm going lower um, is like minus a million. Upper is two. Sigma is 3.5. Mu is five and we get 0.196 to three significant figures. Okay, now we're gonna find the probability that t is less than two given that t is greater than zero. Now notice t has to be greater than zero and that's what makes this normal distribution not a very good model and that can also get you to mark in the next part, actually part three. So we're gonna look for the probability that t is less than two and t is greater than zero over the probability that t is greater than zero, because that's the conditional probability formula. 
yeah you do and of both statements and then you divide by what you're given now here's one where you can't just ignore the and you actually have to because what does it mean for something to be less than two and bigger than zero it's zero to two yeah that's what it actually means and this is the probability that t is bigger than zero now we can do both of these on our calculator um, so we're not going to use 1.0.196 on the top that's important that um, we're going to use lower zero upper 2 3.5 and uh, 5 again and we get 0.119 on the top okay on the bottom for t is greater than 0 I'm going to go lower is 0 upper is like 2 million and I'm going to get 0.9234 on the bottom show the examiner these numbers because they'll be in the mark scheme and then at the end we've just got to divide those and dividing those comes to 0.129 to free sig fig yeah and that's it now look at this hence explain why this normal distribution may not be a good model for t because if it was a good model you would expect part one and part two to be very 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 close wouldn't you um, but the fact is there's a non-zero probability and this is another way of getting the mark there's a non-zero probability of having a negative waiting time and quite a large probability of having a negative waiting time which is impossible it's meaningless um, but you can get that mark and I think they wanted you to get that mark by saying look part one and part two's answers should be exactly the same because you can't have a negative waiting time but they're very different and so it doesn't look like a great fit for the model okay the last part of this question now so far up to this point I would argue that this question has been pretty nice but this bit isn't nice, yeah? The dentist believes... Uh, uh, what annoys me about the, this part, it, it doesn't annoy me. I don't mind them having hard questions. But um, this, th there's nothing like this in the book. There really isn't. I've never seen a question quite like this. Um, uh, I haven't seen it in the old syllabus either. I haven't seen one like this for years and years and years. Um, I can't remember seeing one anyway. But yeah, she believes that she cannot complete a routine appointment in less than two minutes. That sounds reasonable, doesn't it? So she suggests that the health centre should use a refined model only including values of t is greater than two. Yeah. Now, find the median time under the new refined model. Now, if you once you've learnt how to do this, or how they'd like you to do this, it's actually not that difficult. Yeah, under our current model, we've got three point. Uh, the mean is five. Sorry, and the variance is three point five squared. Three point five squared. Yeah. So the mean is five. Two is down here, and we already know some facts about this. So probably less than two is zero point one nine six. So that's handy, we can use that idea. Now, if we're going to refine this model, we want this to be definitely bigger than 2. Now, the really, really easy way of explaining this is to say, well, our new normal distribution, we really want, basically, just to find where the middle of this should be. Yeah, this area here. Because the median is going to be the middle of that, yeah? Because we're definitely greater than 2. So in other words, what do we need? Well... As that's 0.196, oh, yeah, I'm not going to write down any complicated, I'm going to try and avoid writing down anyway any complicated conditional statements because I don't think it's the natural way of doing this. If you're ju just trying to say, okay, I want to ignore that probability, like I want to ignore the chance that that happens, then I need to split this area in half to find the median time. And if I need to do that, well, this area is 1 minus 0 0.196, which is like 0 0.804, I think. Um, so this area comes to 0 0.8043. And if I just halve that, so 0 0.8043 divided by 2 is 0 0.4021, uh, two, two, you know, 215. Let's say 0 0.402, roughly speaking. What I want to make sure is that I find a value yeah let's call this value m for medium yeah so that that 0 0.8043 is cut in half in other words I'm now going to have 0 0.402 here and 0 0.402 here then that will be the median under the new model yeah so what am I looking for I'm looking for the probability that um, uh, well I'm, I'll go back to yeah t is greater than m that's got to equal 0 0.402 and that gives you m equal to, and you can just do this on your calculator now, um, inverse normal, 
area is going to be 0 0.40 well actually because inverse normal always works as a less than it might be wiser to change this to less than and change this to 0 0.402 plus 0 0.8196 so just because uh, the inverse normal only works to the left of the value that you're looking for and if I do that so if I put the normal area as 0 0.4 plus 0.196 and you can type in calculations on the screen uh, sigma is 3.5 mean is 5 I think that's still the case yet okay we get when we uh, plug it in 5.85 and therefore so roughly 5.9 and that's the final answer now I want to point out in the notes that this does actually get you I think full marks can I just quickly screenshot something because um, I've had a careful look at the notes here um, let's have a let's show you this because I do want to discuss this it shows how like if you've got some reasoning there the examiners are reasonable about accepting that you have just figured it out because if you look at the notes up here they've got all this con complicated conditional probability and they're saying find a probability that t is greater than t given that you know it's definitely greater than 2 is 0.5 it definitely is equivalent to this problem um, and, and essentially we end up halving 0.8043 which is what I did and then we ended up getting 5.9 eventually yeah now look at it down here you get m1 for a correct conditional probability statement uh, m, another m1 for a correct ratio of probability expressions or something like that you get an a1 for a correct equation uh, but it may be in a diagram yeah okay and then you get m1 for a correct attempt to find t standardizing in sight of 0 0.253 or, or prepared to use calc or 1 minus 0 0.585 times that that's what i did and then look at it, what it says down here a site of answer rounds to 5.9 and at least one m mark scores five out of five yeah answer only center review so they're not expecting that much to be honest i very much doubt many people got this right in the exam <laughs> i really 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 doubt they did because i think it's a really tough finish but if you get that third m mark with a decent diagram yeah um or, or, or you know you might get it from here but um you know <laughs> if you get that one there and then get the final 5.9 you score full marks on this there we go so they, because you can just do it as a kind of like suss it out in your head thing you don't have to write down a conditional statement there now I'm not advising you to do it necessarily like that there's you know there's a, a perhaps some good sense in saying this is really because of course conditional probability is just a shrunken sample space so it just reduces part of the diagram and of course this makes perfect sense we're looking for an M um, you can say T is greater than M given that because we know that t is definitely greater than 2 that should be equal to 0 0.5 yeah and yeah of course you can do it like that and that's exactly equivalent to what I've done yeah it really is uh, but yeah there we go that is that question nasty question though wasn't easy in that year so well done if you battled for it bye bye